Hi, fourth grade. This is Mrs. Knips. You guys are lucky and have a snow day today. It is a Friday and you guys have a snow day, but the teachers still had to be here. So I am going to make my videos for when I am gone having my knee surgery. Um, so I am. I came up with a lesson for you guys to do um, today and then the next time that you have, oops, I bumped my camera, the next time that you have art also. So it's going to be a two-day lesson at least. And then if you don't get it done um, when your substitute is here, then we can finish it when I come back. But um, we are going to make, I'm going to show you on here, but we are going to make um, like a superhero. You're going to create your own superhero and we are going to make the background of it. So you can start thinking about where you might want to, um, <clears throat> like what kind of scene you want to put your superhero in. Um, so start thinking about that. But the very first thing that we're going to do is draw our superhero. So you can make it look. Um, you can make it a boy, you can make it a girl, you can make it flying through the air, you can make it standing. Um, it's totally your choice how you want it to look, but we're going to think shapes. We're going to try and think of shapes. So when I start drawing one superhero, um, I'm going to just start with a circle for the head. So that's my first shape. And we want to draw, I don't know, about the length of your hand maybe would be a good size. So I'm just going to, I'm eventually going to cut my superhero out so it doesn't matter where on your paper you put it. I'm going to start with a circle. So there's my head. And then I think for my body, I mean, if I wanted it to be a dress, I could do one. Here, let me, let me, I'll do one on this side and one on the other side. Okay, so I'm going to start with my circle for the head. I'll draw two of them. You only have to draw one. Um, I could draw, I could draw one that's like a triangle if I wanted to. So it looks like she's wearing a dress. I mean, we can think of shape superheroes. We all know how to make shapes. Okay. Maybe I want to, um, draw her legs. That's kind of a chunky leg. <laughs> I'll make it a little bit smaller. It's okay to make mistakes that way. That's why we start with um, a pencil. There's her boots. She's got some cool boots on. I'm gonna put like a cape that goes around her. So all I'm gonna do for that is just kind of draw it in the background. There's her cape. Um, and I want to put some type of cool like logo or crest on her shirt. So maybe I start with like something that looks like this and I'm going to make her an art superhero. Woohoo! Art. Okay. Um, and I'm going to put, I want to put some designs on her outfit. So I'm going to put maybe like a stripe that goes on her dress. Or, yeah. Maybe I want to make her boots have two lines there so I can add another piece, another color to it. Um, then when I do my face, my face doesn't have to be super complicated. I'm going to just draw like a line for her hair and I'm going to put a ponytail on her. There's my ponytail and then I'm going to draw like two bumps, bump, 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 bump. This is her mask. So there's her eyes. There's my superhero. Okay, so there's my first one. That's my girl. Um, I could make a girl that looks kind of like this also with a skirt. Now, oh, I could put a belt on her. Um, yeah, you don't have to make it look, you don't have to do the triangle. I'm just trying to get you to think of some shapes. So on this one, I'll make a boy. I'm, I'm going to just start with a rectangle for the body. I think that's pretty easy. Um, and I'm going to make some shorts for my guy. And I think I want my guy to have a belt too. So I'm gonna make a belt. And let's see, what else do I want? Um, I want this arm to be going up. So I, you could do like a circle for your hand or you know, you could also make your hand more complicated than that. I just want you to start thinking of shapes because I think when you think in terms of shapes, it's easiest to start out with drawing your 
person and then you can change things after that like now that I have my circle blocked out there I can go and change her um, hand into a real hand um, I think I'm gonna draw his legs and I let me think what kind of legs do I want on him maybe I don't want him to wear shorts maybe I want him to wear pants so because I think I can do like some cool knee pads on him and some boots my superhero's got to have some muscles on him oops Maybe they just need to be flat, just like this. I don't know, I'm trying to think of Batman. <laughs> and then sometimes they have like different designs that go in them. Because they have like shielded protection, right, maybe? Um, and then up here, maybe I want to make, I'm going to make this guy be a lightning bolt. Maybe like flash. There. He's got a lightning bolt in him. Uh, I want my guy to have a cape because all superheroes need to have a super cool cape. Duh. There he goes, there's his cape. And um, I'm gonna put um, some hair on him and a mask. There's my guy. Okay, so there's my two superheroes. I could also like tilt them or even after you cut them out, if you want to draw them or like glue them on your background paper sideways, you could do that. Um, here's another example where I drew that she was flying and she was sideways. Let me see if you can see that. Hold on. There you go. I tried to draw her sideways. Here was another superhero I drew. He was an art superhero. And there's my girl. So you can pause on any of those if you want ideas for them. Those are just some of my examples that I started with. But these are the two that I just drew to show you. So now we're going to talk about coloring them. Um, actually, before you color them, I think it's a good idea to Sharpie them. And you can use a thin Sharpie or a thick Sharpie. So I'm going to Sharpie quick. And I think I decided I'm just going to leave um, the circles for my hands. I'm okay with that. Ah. Okay, when you think about coloring, we'll just talk about it while I'm sharpieing here real quick. When you think about coloring, I want you to think about um, a three color pattern. If you think of any of our um, superheroes in the movies, like if we think of Batman, Batman is black, gray, and gold, <clears throat> or yellow. Superman is red, blue, and yellow. Spider-Man, red, blue, black. Iron Man is maroon and gold. Wonder Woman is red and blue and gold. So they all have a three color pattern. None of them usually have more than three colors. I think otherwise it just gets to be too confusing and too complicated and you can't see very good. So when you color your superhero in, I want you to think of making a three color pattern. Think of three colors that would maybe go together and fill in your superhero having three colors. Okay.
I have my superhero Sharpie. Now I can think about colors. Um, let me think. You can use color pencils. You could use, um, I don't know, I would recommend color pencils just because <clears throat> I think that you'll find the closest colors to like, like skin tones. I have some skin tone colored pencils that you could use. Um, I think I'm going to make my flash per person all red, orange, and yellow. I'm going to make them th these three colors. So I think I want my flash, my lightning, obviously, to be yellow. I'm going to color it in nice and neat. We should know how to color neatly. Um, I'm going to make my knee pads yellow too because I think the circle is cool if this, all three circles are matched and be yellow. And I think this circle could be yellow too. There we go. I'm going to make my belt, I think, red. The nicer you color in, the more you take your time, the more, you're, more the nicer your artwork will all look. I think everybody knows how to take their time. I'm gonna also make my cape red. So make sure that you are um, making something that you guys can be proud of. By taking your time, coloring it nicely, not just scribbling just to put something on the paper. And I think I'm gonna make his shirt orange. Quick reminder, when you use the colored pencils, make sure that you are um, not sharpening in them, them in the electric pencil sharpener anymore. I think I have other pencil sharpeners that will work better, but the electric sharpener, <clears throat> um, it just eats them up so fast. And also, if you are drumming your pencil, all of the lead inside the colored pencils breaks. And then every time you sharpen it, the lead falls out the end. So you wanna make sure that you are um, using your colored pencils correctly. That's just a reminder for you. So this guy's gonna be mainly orange, but I wanted him to look like he was like a flash of lightning, all bright, bright colors. Um, let's see, what color do I want those to be? I think red. There we go. Um, and I think maybe I could make some sleeves on him too. I gotta think. Hmm. Yeah, I think so. I think I'll make his sleeve yellow. I gotta think of a good name for my guy. Um, let's see. He could be the Bolt. Maybe that's already a name, like a lightning bolt. Or... Flashman, or, hmm, quick as a flash. Maybe that could be a saying. <laughs> um, I'm not going to color his skin, and I'm not going to color his hair, and I'm not going to color his hands yet, because I think I will color those in um, with a skin-colored colored marker. Um, so, or not marker, sorry, colored pencil. And so I'm not gonna color those yet. I don't have them right next to me, but I will have them set out um, when the substitute is here. And so when you think about coloring your face or whatever your skin in a certain color, there are multiple colors in there. Probably none of them are gonna exactly match any one skin tone because skin and colored pencils are two different things. So you just wanna make sure that you find um, a skin tone that if you're making this of yourself, you could find one that matches as close as possible. If you're making this of somebody else, you can choose whatever kind of skin tone you would like. Um, and then you should color your face and your hands in that same color. Um, I think I'm gonna make my guy have, I want brown hair on my person. 
So I'm going to make him have brown hair. And then I could go pick out a skin tone from the skin tone bucket. Okay, so there is my superhero. Um, could do the same thing with the art superhero. Um, you get the idea. When you're done with this, do not cut it out yet because um, we have to make a background paper. And I think if you cut it out, you're going to lose it. So just put your name on it somewhere and put it in our bucket and set that aside. Okay. Um, then you're going to get a second paper, but I think actually this is going to be day number one. If you get to the next part, it'll be on a separate video. All right. So, um, hopefully you work hard on your superheroes, make them look nice. Um, take your time designing their outfit. You can make them look really cool. Um, think about all the different superhero movies you have seen, different costumes, what they look like, um, and take your time on it.